Hello, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about SLMs or small language models. Have you heard the term small language model? And you have a rough sense of what they are, but you know there's another level of detail just below the surface you're unsure of. Well, if so, watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. In the area of size and complexity, large language models can have hundreds of billions of parameters. GPT-3, for example, has 170 billion parameters, and in every new release of LLMs, they seem to have way more. Alternatively, small language models have less than 100 million parameters. There are even some smaller ones that have just a few million parameters. Small language models are designed with fewer parameters and simpler architectures compared to larger models like GPT-3 or GTP-4, making them more efficient in terms of computational resources. Small language models offer faster inference. Due to their smaller size, small language models can process inputs and generate outputs more quickly, which is beneficial for applications requiring real-time or low latency responses. Small language models are cost-effective. Smaller models are less expensive to train and deploy, making them accessible to organizations with limited computational resources. Small language models fit well with task-specific training. Small language models can be fine-tuned for specific tasks or domains, allowing them to perform well in niche areas despite their smaller size. Small language models offer energy efficiency. The reduced computational demands of small language models result in lower energy consumption, making them suitable for deployment on edge devices or mobile phones. Small language models are versatile and can be used in a variety of applications. Here are a few example use cases. Chatbots and virtual assistants, supporting IoT edge computing devices such as smart thermostats or home video monitors, supporting mobile phones with capabilities such as text auto-completion or real-time voice translation. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but here are a few popular small language models available on the market. Distilbert from OpenAI has 82 million parameters. Albert, developed by Google, has 12 million parameters. Electrosmall, also coming from Google, comes in at 14.5 million parameters. In summary, compared to large language models, small language models offer reduced parameter size, efficiency, and faster speed, making them suitable for specialized or resource-constrained applications. In contrast, Large language models have a much larger parameter size, which gives them greater power and flexibility at the cost of higher resource demands. Okay, so now you should have a good conceptual understanding of small language models, how they compare to large language models, and potential use cases where they could be a better fit. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all my other videos in the AI ML Knowledge Concepts playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. Quick request for your feedback. I'm planning on moving to more code and development examples in upcoming videos. And I want to find out from you, which development tools do you use? Are you using Jupyter Notebooks? Do you use Langchain? Are you cloud developers using AWS or Microsoft Azure? Do you use Google GCP? Let me know in the comments. Your feedback will help as I start to include more LLM system development videos. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI, but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, Tell me in the comments. I want to hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.